Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here and welcome back to some more Unavowed where we're going to do the wrap up of the previous case and hopefully get right into the next case. So let's go downstairs, see what our companions have to say. Hello Mandy. Good evening. I trust you are rested after last night? Myself, I could not sleep one wink. Being at sea always leaves me rejuvenated. It was like old times. No, you don't seem any worse the wear for not having slept, so that's good. Uh, old times, like when you were at sea with your mother? Old times. My childhood. At my mother's knee. Learning from the best. Well, it's good to remember, right? Was your... Well, we know her mother wasn't a djinn. You've mentioned her before, though. Have I? I suppose I cannot help it. I do not often dwell on the past, but I dare not forget it. I am the daughter of the Pirate Queen of Ulster, and her legacy lives through me. Speaking of which, I must continue my training. I will see you at the meeting. Could we not talk a bit more first? We may. So, I have some more questions about you. Me? What do you want to know? Tell me about your mother being a pirate. I did not say pirate. I said pirate queen. Well, she excuse me. She had a fleet of ships. She ruled the waters of half of the old Irish kingdoms before she was through. Her portrait hangs in the study. She was a formidable woman, but in the end, merely human. Though it has been centuries since she passed, I still remember her every time I swing this blade on my back. All right, can I ask you about something else? I will do my best to answer. How's Vicky settling in? Where is she staying? There's not a ton of room here. We have spent the morning conversing. She seems quite eager, anxious to prove herself. I have seen her sort before. Recruits like her are the first to throw themselves into danger and are the first to get themselves killed. I have grown fond of her. I hope that does not happen. Yeah, me too. Uh, any thoughts on the last mission? Harrison's death was not your doing. Do not blame yourself. All her choices were the result of selfishness and greed. They caught up with her. That is all. All right, I guess that's all that we can ask. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Let's go down and check on Eli. Maybe we can find out more of his backstory. Throwing fireballs again, eh? Hey there, you're awake. Sounds like you had quite the harbor cruise last night. Most people would pay good money for that. <laughs> well, I mean, next time you can go handle it. How about that? I'd happily pay to not ever do that again. You'll do that again and much more. I'll tell you that for free. But seriously, the brass ones on that guy. Showing up in the middle of the harbor like he did. Supernatural creatures used to be more skittish. They worked in the shadows. They're getting braver, bolder, flexing their muscles in front of mundanes. And if that goes unchecked... Yeah. Well, we know where that leads, don't we? In all fairness, though, it wasn't really his choice to show up in the middle of the harbor. Eli, is something wrong? Where does this lead? No, nothing's wrong and everything's wrong. Sorry, I'm not making a whole lot of sense, am I? Well, I'm sure you'll explain. Many centuries ago, there was a fire mage. His name was Alden. He got bold, too. He killed people with his power. Whole villages, armies. Nobody could stop him. He was my great-grandfather. So yeah, oh. I know where this leads. And it's never anywhere nice. Anyway, see you at the meeting. So, the magic runs in bloodlines then. That's good to know, I guess. Could I ask you some more things first, please? Fire away. <laughs> How do you think Vicky's handling it? Surprisingly well. Better than I did back in the day. Of course, I was setting fire to everything I touched, so there was that. Fair enough. I'd like to know more about your great-grandfather. Yeah, I guess I can't casually mention an evil fire mage and not expect a follow-up question. 
Like I said, he's my great-grandfather. Or was. He's dead now. How did that come about? He was brought down. It was inevitable, really. Alden got too bold and too powerful. Someone had to do something about it. So the families of his victims got together. They made a deal with the Fae of the Unseelie Court. Oh. How they did it, I don't know. But they turned themselves into hunters. Right. Did they make a deal with the Winter or Summer Court, though? What kind of hunters did they turn into? Oh, I want to know everything. I want to ask all the questions. I'm guessing it didn't end well. It didn't end well for Alden, I'll say that much. They became the Hunters of Alden, infused with unimaginable power. They were dedicated to one purpose and one purpose only. Stopping and killing Alden by any means necessary. So what happened after that? Alden needed to die. He was, well, he was insane, no question. And after a long, bloody battle, they did it. Alden was dead. But the hunters weren't done, not by a long shot. They decided all fire mages had to die, and they've been doing it ever since. So... I'm guessing it's not the exact same people, but they have a group sort of like we do. The Unavowed? Um... Gosh. Can... Can they be stopped? No. When my power... manifested, they were drawn to me like a homing beacon. They wanted to kill me. Mandana and Kalash found me just in time. They... helped me fake my death. Threw the hunters off my trail. And I've been here ever since. So yeah, monsters working out in the open never leads to anything good. Mm. People will fight back, one way or another. And innocents have to pay the price, every time. Anyway, see you at the next meeting, I guess. So I wonder, were they corrupted by their zeal to ferret out his great-grandfather? Or was it dealing with the unseelie courts? that sort of tainted them. Are they still bound to the Fae? I want to know so much. Give me more lore, please. Fire away. Damn it. Guess we'll just ask about our last mission. Harrison was a nasty piece of work. But honestly, if I was faced with the same fate, I might have done the same thing. I don't judge you for making that call. You tried to avoid bloodshed. It backfired. It happens. Yeah, I guess we'll see what Blue Man Group has to say about that, right? Right. See you around. Okay, then. I imagine that our two companions are in here, too. I guess everybody's got their spot. Wish I could talk directly to KK. That would be awesome. Uh, let's talk to Logan first, I guess. Sounds like you guys went on a real pirate adventure last night. Saw a sea monster and everything. KK was jealous. I guess watching over Vicky's kid brother didn't have quite the same punch. Well, that is the first dialogue that I've seen that hasn't adjusted correctly. You guys went on an adventure? You were there, Logan. Interesting. Uh, KK's jealous, but you're not. You guys were with us. I was where I needed to be. That's all I want. Anyway, I'm ready when you are. Give a shout when the meeting starts. Okay. I'd like to talk a bit first. I can do that. Um, any thoughts on the last mission? Shame about how Harrison ended up. I suppose in her way, she took some responsibility for what she did. But in the end, it was her choice. We don't need to take responsibility for it. I mean, thanks for the encouragement. I don't know that that's completely true, but we make our choices and pay the price, right? Can we learn anything more about KK? She says it's okay, so go ahead. So she's with you all the time? Yep, pretty much all the time. She can't travel very far from me. Maybe a few hundred feet, half a block at most. So I couldn't shake her even if I wanted to. Not that I would. She's good company. So it's not awkward having her around all the time? I could imagine situations where that would be... Uh bothersome to say the least nah like I said 
KK's good company. See? She just made a farting noise with her mouth. More fun <laughs> than Sammy's on a Saturday night, let me tell you. All right. Well, what about when you, you know, have company over? You used to be quite popular at Sammy's. Are you just stoically alone now? Jesus. You say that like it was a good thing. I had no idea who or what I was going home with most nights. I'll tell you this, though. Since I got sober, company hasn't been much of an issue for me. I just haven't wanted to. I couldn't tell you why that is, any more than I could tell you why I hooked up so many times when I was drinking. So having KK around hasn't cramped my style. At least, not in that way. Hey man, that's fine. You do you. If you're happy, you're happy. That's great. Let's talk about something else. You got it. I don't need to see the picture again. Alright, I'll talk to you in a bit. Talk later. Now, where were we? So now we're going to have three companions to choose from. That is interesting. Let's see what Vicky is up to looking at the alcohol. So this place is real. It's all real. You know, when I got up this morning, I thought I dreamt it all. But everything's changed. People are remembering. Remembering that people died. I heard Vinny crying all night. He doesn't understand. How could he? I want to tell him, but... That would be a really bad idea. Anyway, I'm ready to get to work. Yeah, it would probably be a horrible idea. Well, at least it's not just a tragedy. A horrible tragedy anymore, right? You settling in okay? I'm fine. Just show me the monsters and I'll take them out. Yeah, maybe a little less gung-ho, huh? How's Donnie doing? Donnie? He's super pissed. He's not sure what happened, but he knows he was tricked. He's doing his best to make it right. Not that it really can be made right. Hmm, so what's happened on Staten Island since we left? The station's a madhouse. All the victims' families are flooding the place, demanding answers the cops don't know what to say. You'd think I'd feel a bit of, I don't know, vindication or whatever. But I just want to move on. Alright. Any thoughts on the last mission? I can't change what happened to all those people. But if I can stop it from happening to anyone else, I'm ready and raring to go. All right, sounds good. We'll chat later. Right. Catch you later. All right, guess it's time to talk to Blue Man Group. I have been reading the reports of your last mission. It has been a long time since I have seen one of the merfolk. To hear they are so changed distresses me greatly. So, they didn't used to be violent warmongers or whatever? From what I understood, they were being attacked. Uh, if you need to talk, though, I'm a good listener. I thank you for that. The past and the present are sometimes difficult to reconcile. Don't I know it? Merfolk once lived in harmony with humanity. This is several thousand years ago, of course, but they were peaceful, playful, loyal to their allies. All they asked in return was to live in peace. Now I hear they are fighting for their lives, fighting wars, building armies. <sighs> I suppose our world is not the only one which has evolved. Regardless, one must not live in the past. If you are ready, we will start the meeting. Uh, yeah, sure. Call the meeting. I agree. I am glad to see you made it, Detective Santina. Uh, you don't need to call me that. I'm no detective. Not anymore. My daughter speaks the truth. For a full year, you were on a mission to ferret out the truth at great risk to yourself. Is this correct? Yeah. Who else was gonna do it? Then it is settled. You are a detective. One who detects. Speak no more of it. They've certainly got a point, Vicky. Uh, by the way... What about that giant sea monster? Can we speak of that? Yes, I was just getting to that. The Jinn were great friends of the Merfolk once. I remember them quite fondly. I am grateful you let the General live, but not at the expense of Joy Harrison's life. She took her own life, Father. Sometimes a nasty perp does you a favor and ices themselves. Saves paperwork and manpower, not to mention lives. What? Pulling that trigger made things better for everyone. I ain't gonna pretend otherwise. That was harsh, but truly spoken. Darn right. You all did good work last night, considering the circumstances. But my question still stands. Why 
Why is the demon doing this? What does it have to gain? We, uh, still don't know. Have we exhausted every lead? Spoken to every witness? Is there anybody left? I could take another crack at the ghost in the Village Eye basement. Ghost? We found a ghost by a dead body in a basement. For real? Did you do any forensics? On the ghost? On the body. Jesus Christ, you people really do need me. Somebody pointed out in the comments that perhaps the ghost is uh, one of the cops that was on the list. Uh, missing, nobody knew where he was. Maybe that's the truth. Uh, maybe she really can do forensics. Sure, maybe we missed a clue in the village eye. A clue only a cop like Vicky could see. I don't see any cops, so I guess you'll have to settle for me. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned. Ooh, so this is different. Holy we don't... shit. Language. Kid present. <laughs> Sorry. We don't have a separate assignment. It's just information gathering. Awesome. Well, Vicky is coiled up tighter than a cobra. So, sounds a great time to travel the subway. Let's hope nobody dies. And I guess I have to choose to. So, this is how you guys travel? By subway? What'd you expect? Teleporter? It's all we have the budget for most of the time. Budget constraints. Yeah, I get that. But what about an emergency? Emergency? Yeah, like let's say some monster is about to rip the mayor's arm off. You're gonna take the subway? Don't be foolish. Yeah, the mayor would just grow a new arm. Right. You know something about Wait, the mayor? What? That we don't? It's a long story. Okay. I don't want to know. I do, but I don't think we're going to be told. Well, we need you and... Oh. So we can only take one of them. It has to be Eli or Mondana. Well, we took Mandy last time, so let's take Eli. So I guess maybe once she finds the clue that gives us the name, then we get Logan? Hey, Eli. What's your reading? Draft week. It's a personal account of the 1863 draft riots. Sounds fascinating. If you wanted a personal account, you can ask me. I was there. <laughs> I love this background dialogue, but I'm not going to bore you guys first. with it. Gremlins, uh-huh. My version is more... Back here, then. If I was playing this on my own, I'd probably sit there and just let it play. I love that. Vicky? Vicky Santina? Is that you? So she doesn't oh, have hey, the veil Chloe. either? How's it going? You know, standing here in the rain, guarding a wreck. You? Eh, things sucked. Might be getting better. Catch up later. Sure. It's good to see you. So, you two know each other? Sure, he's a cop, isn't he? There's not as many of us as you think. We all talk. Uh, this is New York, though. I mean, there's enough that you can't possibly know all of them, but sure. Yeah. Can we not do that? Let's do what we came here to do. All right, fair enough. I was hoping for some more interaction. I want to let him know that he helped us, but apparently that's never going to happen, so I guess he was satisfied with being an unsung hero, and unsung he shall remain, at least to himself. I'm going to go in here first. Maybe she can do something with the laptop that we weren't able to do. Uh, what do you make out about this? Sorry, I have no idea what you want me to do. You're a detective. I want you to Sorry, detect. I have no Sorry, I have... Alrighty. What about this Sorry, stuff? I have no okay, well, guess it's on down to the murder scene. Jesus, did a crate of Miracle Grow explode? Something like that. a large spillover of life energy. But essentially, yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, that's as good a description of it as any, I suppose. So, here's the body. This the stiff? That's him. Right, let's take a look. He's covered in moss. Grass, weeds, it's kind of taken over his skin. Yeah, my best guess is that he's being absorbed by the life energy in the room. What? He's being eaten? Are we safe in here? It's life energy. It doesn't kill. As long as we're alive, we're fine. Fine. But if I turn into plant woman, I'm coming after you. Anyway, 
Good news, his hands are still pretty humanish. Can we print him? Um. Well, that's not a question. I guess that's what she's getting at, but humanish? Yep, human hands with human fingerprints on them. Gotcha. And got him. That's the easy part. Now I just gotta call in a favor. Yeah, Donnie, it's me. I'm sending you a file. Fingerprints. Could you get them analyzed for me? Yeah, it's dead ass urgent. You can? Oh, my man! I owe you one. My bro didn't disappoint. This guy is Harry Taylor. 62 years old, petty thief, homeless since 09. Dropped off the radar about a year ago. I guess we know what happened to him. That's about all I can do for now. Is it cool if I take off? I promised Donnie a burger. Um, sure. This is great. I like this. I thought we were going to have to go back to the subway, but this helps out a ton. Send Logan back while you're at it. No problem. That's a great quality of life thing there, isn't it? Awesome. Well, we know what needs to be done now, right? Hey, it's us again. So? Harry Taylor? Are you Harry Taylor? You know me? I know of you. Oh, I see. So it worked. Uh, pardon me? What do you mean, it worked? The pain. It's, it's all, all gone. gone. The, the ritual, ritual must have worked. worked. Oh, thank God. Well, I mean, it didn't work, and then in a way it did work, you know? You're not exactly healed, but the pain's gone, so I guess that's a win, question mark? Whatever happened here, I don't think it worked. I'm sorry. But, but it had to. The master promised. Jordan, Wendy, they all promised. All I had to do was bleed a little. Just a little. Wendy lifted the knife and then... Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're here to... Help you the rest of the way. I see. Will it... Will it hurt? No. The hard part's over. Just take KK's hand, okay? Okay. Alrighty, well that was short and sweet. Alright, he's gone. We kinda needed more information from him um, though, right? He's a witness? Does that usually happen? No, no that never happens. Maybe we should get out of here? I was about to suggest the same thing. His body disappeared. Why did his corpse go too? Is he the energy that was sustaining this place and now it's going to collapse? Who disturbs my grove? Uh, Puddentane. Ask me again and I'll tell you the same. Ah, Melkaressa, it is you. I was wondering if you would ever come back. Have you brought more worshippers at last? The who now? That's the demon that was in me? Melkaressa? That might be useful information. Who are you, though? <sighs> is that mortal body giving you a mortal memory as well? That spirit was the only worshipper I had left, and you destroyed him. Worshipper? That was no worshipper. He was just someone who needed help. So we helped him. Hmm. A bestower. Rare as hen's teeth you are. You cannot resist your nature. I cannot fault you. Good to know. Nevertheless, Melkaressa and I had an arrangement. Well, unfortunately, Malcaressa isn't actually here. I was just the vessel. Uh, but I am curious, what was the arrangement? You get blood and something? Have you forgotten everything? Pretend I have. In exchange for worshippers, that was our arrangement. Do you intend to honor it? Look, whatever deal you made, it wasn't with her. The fire mage? I thought Alden's hunters put you all to death. You keep interesting company, Melkaressa. I believe I understand now. You joined them, the unavowed. The ones who banished me to the North Woods. Okay. The thing is, you don't look very banished to me at the moment. I know this. This grove was created with magic that I gave you making it an extension of my domain in the North Woods. Completely in line with the terms of my banishment, 
if not the spirit of them. But that's Jin's for you. Always so literal. Wait, Jin? You saying Mandana banished you? I speak of Kalash. Does he still live? Sure he does. I'll tell him hi. We're done here. Now let us go before I burn this place to the ground. No, I don't believe so. Uh, Eli? Jesus. Bestower, Melkaressa, you are free to go. Tell Kalash to come to my grove in the North Woods. I want to renegotiate the terms of our agreement. Um. Galen of the North Woods. It has been a while. It should have been me. Why was I left behind? Eli is not a fighter. Leading him into danger was irresponsible. And would you have fared better? I do have some experience in combat, Father. You weren't there. It happened too quick. There's nothing you could have done. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Guys, we need facts. We need data. Who is this tree lady, anyway? You said you imprisoned her. It was centuries ago. This city was just forming. It was taking over her forest. She resented it. She was a danger. She was hurting people, killing them. She had to be contained. Yeah, I'm guessing whoever we took, Mandy or Eli, they would have been captured. The question is though, how was she able to overpower Eli? Good question. Can't Eli throw fire? How'd he get taken by a thing made of wood? Gerlen is cunning. Her experience extends back thousands of years. If she could not defend against fire magic by now, I would be disappointed. But rest assured, Gerlen will pay for taking Mage Beckett. All right. Well, why didn't you kill her instead? I'm guessing because, I don't know, I, I would not want to kill something if at all possible, but we'll see what your answer is. We are not butchers. She pleaded for mercy. I gave it to her. It seemed like the best course of action at the time. Well, it looks like mercy is now not enough for her. My demon let her out, so I guess we've got to deal with it, right? Only partially, but perhaps that was the intent. To free Galen. But why? A discussion for another time. After we rescue Mage Beckett. Fair enough. All these things that the demon is doing, they seem unconnected, but I'm guessing they're going to have something in common. It has some kind of plan, right? These can't be all random things. It must be working toward something. The question is what? And will we find out in time? Tune in next time for... Just kidding. We're, we're going to keep going. Uh, she wants you to come and renegotiate the terms. If she wants to negotiate, that means she has something to negotiate with. Its name's in other Eli. Words, Eli is alive. I have no doubt. I am coming with you, Father. I will hear no argument. I would not dream of saying otherwise. This is a trap, right? It's obviously a trap. No shit. You don't invite the enemy to your door without a reason. You forget that I defeated her once and her forest covered this entire island. Now she is only a tiny grove. Her power is a mere fraction of what it was. Oh, interesting. So her power is directly linked to the size of her grove? I would have figured it was more linked to her worshippers, which there are a lot fewer of now, so I guess either way, I'm coming too. Yes, Galen knows you. Or at least, she knows the demon that was within you. That can definitely be used to our advantage, and get some answers in the bargain. Hey, KK and I were there when everything went down. We're going to. You ain't leaving me behind either. This is a negotiation, not a battle. Only the three of us are needed, but your zeal is appreciated. Well, I never expected to be going on an outing with Blue Man Group. This should be interesting. Yes, the sooner the better. So, I, I just walk out the door like normal? We gonna ride the subway there too? Father? Oh, I guess have so. Have you renewed your veil recently? I do not believe so. Ah, uh, well, 
Perhaps you should renew your veil. Are we drawing unwanted attention? We have more important things to worry about. Mage Beckett and Galen are the task ahead. Anything else is trivial. You are not wrong. Well, as long as we don't get accosted by curiosity seekers. Uh, oh, the, gro the grove is actually Central Park. Fair enough. Let's go. That's a lovely little garden there, isn't it? Waterfall and everything. Galen, you have requested an audience. I am here. Galen! Welcome, oh high and mighty Jin. As a welcome, it is a poor one. Show yourself. I cannot leave my grove, remember? You saw to that. But I have your pet mage. He is in good condition, mostly. Leave him be. Is that little Mandana? My, how you've grown. You were just a sapling when I saw you last. I grew up. That you have. You keep interesting company, Kalash. Come to my grove. We have much to discuss. She, that sword. She is baiting you. We are here to negotiate. With all due respect, Father, words will not work with her, and you know it. Eli, stay strong. Madonna, stop! <sighs> oh dear. I blame her mother for this. Let us follow her. I was under the impression that the whole park was her grove, but apparently not. These woods always glow like that, or is it because your void touched? I imagine it's the void touch, purple fox gloves. Uh, pure crystal water, more fox gloves, glowing trees, uh, blue man group. Guess we can talk to you. Don't just stand there. Or not. Sorry. Eli, wake up. We're here. He's not responding. The vines, they are drugging him, keeping him asleep. No matter. I'll soon make short work of them. Somehow I doubt- yep. Well, this is a fine pickle we're in. Her sword. Eli's hat. Is his power in his hat? Can we become a fire mage? Probably not. So I could try to free them. I'm guessing I would get caught. A magic symbol is etched onto the rock. Strange glowing runes. That seems to be all there is to look at. There's one there too, but we can't look at it. What do you think there? Don't just stand there. You want me to free them? Why don't you try? I cannot. Alrighty. Guess it's up to me. It will take mere seconds for my pets to crush them to death. Can you free them in time? Galen, show yourself. Yeah, I don't know why you were in hiding. Kalash, you've gotten old. I have evolved. You are just as petulant as ever. You expect me to be overjoyed to see you grateful? You took my forest and I want it back. I mean, you agreed to everything, right? If you'll free Eli and Mondana, we'll talk. You are in no position to bargain. What do you want, Galen? What does anyone want from a djinn? Three I wishes? I want a wish. Alright. Um, do you actually grant wishes, Kalash? Silence. The last refuge of a djinn who cannot bear the truth. My forest once covered this entire island. It shall be so again. That is my wish. Out of the question. Would you let your precious minions die instead? Huh. You could turn the entirety of New York into a forest, but you couldn't just kill her. I cannot. A Jin's power does not work like that. You want a wish, Galen? Then you must fight for it. 
Okay. Here is your wish, Galen. In physical form. As long as I live, it will remain encased in crystal. Um, are you sure you want to do this? Face me in combat. Kill me, and the crystal will break, granting you what you desire. I have your daughter and pet mage at my mercy. Why should I bargain with you? Kill them, and your wish will never be granted. You will remain trapped here forever. What say you? I'm not sure how wise this is. Are you in practice? You seem to have been sedentary for a hundred or so years now. Uh, plus, your daughter and Eli wouldn't want this. I don't serve them. I serve the unavowed. I cannot let them perish. Not while it is in my power to save them. The traditional rules of engagement apply. They do. Then I accept. Let this woman be the witness. It is done. Then let us begin. I am ready, Kalash. Whenever you are. If you are going to strike, then strike! Um... I have the patience of the forest. I can wait centuries if need be. I guess I picked this up. Would that be breaking the rules of engagement? Do not distract him. You can access what? If you are going to strike, then sh stay out of this, child. Do not. You can access. I didn't catch what that said. If you are going to. You will not disturb the battleground. The rules of engagement must be obeyed. Oh, I mean, you could do me the favor of explaining them to me, right? So, do I just control if him? If you are going to strike... I cannot. I... Do I make him strike her? I want to save. I'm guessing that's what we have to do. Nice axe. <laughs> hmm. Like a toothless hound. All bark, no bite. I wouldn't be so sure. I... I don't think she's dead. Where were you keeping that axe, though? I used magic. Do not ask such foolish questions. Now, to the business at hand. Freeing our friends. Are you sure? Oh, look out behind you! Behind you! You really thought I could be so easily defeated. Here, in my own grove. I draw my life from this place. As long as it lives, so do I. So tired so soon. Get up. Uh, I have no control. Shot. Are you okay? Is that a face? Okay. I see what has to be done. We don't attack her, we attack her magic. I cannot. I... Really? I... Can't interact with that. Can I do anything with it? Is that a face? Aww. What if I... Do not dare touch... Okay, rules of engagement. Crystal made of light, I can't interact with that. Surely we don't just have him keep going after her. Maybe we knock her down and then have him go after the symbols. Again, we're going to save. It may not be necessary in this game with the way it was designed, but I have played a lot of old school adventures, so... Habits are hard to break. Let me ask you a question. I feel strange. Something is wrong. Uh, yeah. I, what do you mean I, you cannot? I... Can I... Maybe I need to grab the sword uh, while she's gone? Feeling dizzy, what are you uh, doing didn't to me? mean to click, sorry. Have you heard of it? Hemlock. Yes. My own personal strain. Concentrated so densely it can even weaken the mighty Jin. Now get up, old man. I've been waiting centuries for this. Okay. I... Can we make you interact with your I... crystal? 
are you? Hemlock. All right, we know that's poison. Okay, we're gonna try this, and then I'm gonna try to grab the sword or try to free Eli. This is. I. Uh, no, me. Stop. The rules of. Really? Tell me about the rules of engagement. You, uh, don't know the rules. No, of course you don't. I don't know why you would expect Here, me to. Take it, quick. Oh, apparently this is what we need. Could it have been an easier to read font though, please? All right, let's decipher. The combatants shall be known as Kalosh and Galeen. So their names are inserted. The prisoners shall remain incarcerated until one of the combatants is dead. Okay. Whomever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. The winner shall have their wish granted. Okay. Don't worry. With bed rest and plenty of fluids, the toxins will just drain out of your body. We're not going to get but to that point, to are we? Me first. Now get up and fight. Do we have access to fire? Click to view. So what do I do with this? So I can't use it on a thing. I. You cannot. There's only so many things here to interact with. We can't pick up the sword. The thing says they'll remain incarcerated until it's over. Symbol, which we can't interact with. There's her. Can we talk to her? Your leader is dying. He just does not realize it yet. Somehow I don't think that's the way this is going to work out, though I guess maybe it could? Symbol? Can I leave? Apparently not. Uh, is there any way I could change this? No? hat, the sword. Wonder if it would let me pick up the sword. I mean, we can always go back to one of the other saves if there's a certain number of times that it that this ends up in him dying. So I guess we'll try that. Maybe. No, I doubt it. All right, I was able to get the sword this time. Can I not give it to him. I've waited centuries for this, Kalash. I've thought of nothing else but your death at my hands. Bonnie, I haven't thought of you at all. And now you'll think of nothing else until you die. Now get up. So what's our next step then? Can I give him the sword? Do not interfere. This is between me and the Jin. All right, apparently not. Nothing happens. Nothing happens, nothing happens. Do not dare! Okay, rules of engagement, nothing happens. Huh. There has to be some. Can I cut this up? Maybe when she's gone, I can interfere with these things? Alright, we'll try this again. I don't know. How many swings I've got left in me. Yeah. Luckily, we've got a save. Nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah. You're hanging on by a thread. Sorry. Surrender, Kalash. Just give in to the inevitable. Your time has passed. You first. Try it. I'll wait. Huh. I do not know what to do. Stab his hat? Trapped by vines. What else is there to interact with? Runes? I can't walk even over to that side. Is that a face? That seems so relevant. I don't know what 
to do with it. I cannot. Okay. I... You still can't do that. <laughs> My arm. You can barely feel I... it. You cannot. I... I... Oh, yeah. Go away. Damn it. Still breathing. I am impressed. Well, at least we've got a lot of chances, even if we've got to try again. Oh, no. Delirium won't get you out of this. Get up. I think you've got one good swing left in you. Let's see it. Huh. I mean, I guess we'll try? Hira, I tried. I tried to raise her right, the way you would have wanted. I failed you. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Ah, come on. Stop! The rules of engagement, they cannot be broken. Well, even as bad a shape as he's in, he can still... Die. Understand enough to object. What the? I've waited centuries for this collage. I thought of nothing else. Okay, so it it, it rewinds hands. for us. Honey, the save wasn't I necessary. Haven't thought of you at all. And now you'll think of nothing else until you die. Now get up. What are we supposed to do here? We can't attack her. I told you, do not. Final warning. I'm going to keep pushing, see what happens. That's it. You were... W Let her go this instant. <sighs> Very well. Oops. All right. Well, that was interesting, at least. Huh. Combatants shall be known... Whoever deals the death blow shall be declared the winner. There has to be a loophole to this, right? So, there's... There's only one thing that we haven't tried. Seems really strange. Huh. Do we? I... This seems so wrong. Is this it? Oh, the terms of engagement. Damn it. You found the loophole. Oh, boys. Whomever deals the death blow is the winner. Even though I'm not classified as a combatant, I guess. Is there no other way? There is always another way. Perhaps we could think of some, given enough time. But time is a luxury we do not have. I cannot defeat her. That is the truth. So do it. Be declared the winner. You will be granted one wish. Use it wisely. Through the neck, it is quickest. Hurry, before she reforms. Oh, Jesus. So, can I just wish you alive again when I'm done? No. The wish will be powered by my death. Negate that, and the paradox could tear a hole in the universe. You will be given a great power. Please don't waste it. Your daughter will never forgive me. She is my daughter. She will see the truth of it. Hmm. Is this the only way? All right, here we go. What? Impossible! 
You cheat! That wish was mine! Pardon me, just a little taken aback by everything. Well, it's mine now, it's over. Fine. You won. Kalash won again. But this time, he's dead. I can live with that. What? She... speaks true. Father is gone. And good riddance, trapping me here. Did he think I'd stay quiet? I would highly recommend it. Fine! Leave! You have your precious wish. Do with it what you will. So apparently the vines kept either of the other two from seeing and hearing what went on. So I guess we've got a choice. I wish for you to die, Galene. Wish for you to be turned to stone. Let the park dogs piss on you. Holy moly. I wish for this grove to be one of peace. You will harm no one ever. Yeah, I like that one, I think. Sweet. Well-intentioned and futile. Yes, I remain trapped here. But your precious unavowed remains crippled. I consider this a victory. I will find a way out again. It may take centuries. It may take millennia. But I will find a way out. You would let her live. After everything. You would let her live. Mandy, Kalash wouldn't want... Don't you dare tell me what my father wouldn't want! Not even I know that! I am... sorry. I... No. No, I am not sorry. My father is dead. No, I'm sorry. I... want to go home now. Oh, gosh. I, was that the only way to do that? Surely there was some other way. I was just not... Smart enough to figure it out, I guess. Though so maybe that is the only choice you have. Rest in peace, Blue Man Group. Rest in peace.